I'm so happy to be back everybody as you all know my name is Marcos and I work for Novi Unlimited uh, for one thing happy New Year's everybody I'm uh, what's it called I told you I would be back to the uh, the beginning of the uh, the next year and I have returned let me bump that audio up yay but yes oh so What's it called? To commemorate the beginning of the new year, I decided to wear my very first conference shirt I ever bought. I bought it from the uh, PlayStation Experience, the very first one that was held in Vegas. Uh, it was so amazing to be able to uh, be a part of the very, very first PlayStation Experience. But enough about me. How is everyone else doing? I am so excited. I get to play a week-long marathon of Mario plus Rabbit's Battle Kingdom for you guys. Now, if you guys remember, I played it a couple of weeks back, uh, back in 2017. <laughs> I could say that now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I played it back in 2017, and we got mm, into, uh, we almost beat World 1. What's it called? We got close. We no cigars, but we almost got close. Hopefully, with this uh, two-day long stream, I will be able to also... Uh, get to at least world three Maybe through almost through world two at the beginning of world three now world three is where things just go Shenanigans world one and two are like the test servers. They're like the, the they're like the tutorial and then it just goes absolutely bonkers during The third and fourth world like I will die so many times trying to figure out how to get through it and it's been a minute to, since I played the three and f the third and fourth world because they are so difficult. I just didn't want to go through them again, uh, unless I was like determined. Uh, but anyways, without any further ado, oh, before I go any further, check it out. My new pro controller. It's Mario inspired. I don't know if you get to see the power, uh, all the little detail, the star and everything. So I felt like you know it felt right. What's it called? Beginning of the year conference shirt. Mario controller rabbits. I think it's just the best way to start the year. But anyways, how did you all enjoy your New Year's uh, in your holidays and everything? Oh, th thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gold. I believe it's awesome, too. But anyways, yes, how was your New Year's? Uh, did you get what you wanted for the holidays? Uh, did you discover something new about yourself? Is there any new plans for the New Year's? Please comment down below and I will answer and comment back as soon as I see it. Ooh, I like this controller. It's a, so this controller I thought originally was a product of Nintendo, but uh, be mainly because of the box and everything. But I believe it's a little bit different. Like it is Nintendo-esque, but uh, it has a, it's actually a wired controller, which I did not expect to happen. Uh, and I thought it was originally wireless, but then the moment I unplugged it, I lost all signal to the switch. And I'm like, oh, I have to keep this plugged in at all times. But, eh, it, it's cool. What's it called? The cable is... Is about... Mm, maybe six feet long? Yeah, about six feet long. Uh, so you, it's not like it's gonna hinder my gameplay at all. But yes, look, we're back, everybody! Mario doing the ninja run with his arms behind him. And as you can see, uh, just to recap, I am playing as, of course, Mario, because Mario is always has to be uh, in your uh, party. And then you have to always have at least one rabbit. And uh, uh, what's it called? You can actually have two rabbits and then only Mario. Or you can have Mario and one main, uh, one other human. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you have to have at least one rabbit in your party at all times, just like Mario. But I am playing as Mario, Rabbit Peach, and uh, Luigi. Now Luigi is a sniper, of course, so he's. Uh, I'm gonna keep him as a, as a distance, uh, as a distance guy, probably up in the tr uh, up on the higher levels, because then he gets a dis uh, a bonus every time. Uh, 
Uh, Rabbit Peach is more of a mid tier uh, slash healer. Uh, she can you can throw her into the middle of a battle and she'll be fine. She's got enough HP to hold, almost tankish, especially when she puts her shield up. But she also has a really nice healing ability. And Mario is just a balanced character, of course, powerhouse almost all the way. Ah, uh, Mr. Gold, your holidays were uh, a little bit slow. That's, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but you know what? There's At the same time, there's nothing wrong with a nice, slow time off. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Weapon selection. I think I'm at the best here. Best here. And, of course, best here. She doesn't have her thing unlocked yet. Let's check out the skill tree. As you can see, I pretty much unlocked all of Mario's jumping abilities already. Oh no, no, I haven't yet. It's called the purple means I've unlocked it. Hmm. All right, everyone needs a little bit more experience. Actually, which just. Allows Rabbit Peach to do more than one enemy. Ooh, that's a good one, but I'd rather give her... Hmm... I always hit... Ah, PlayStation fingers. Let's give her the ability to heal. That's gonna come in handy a whole lot in this game. But yes, so I am in World 1-6. All the coins I can. God, the detail of this game is amazing. My holidays, my friend, were uh, a bit slow, but but needed. What's it called? I was happy to be home. Uh, me, I, I actually realized something uh, going back home. L.A. is a very very loud place it is like constant constant sound you know what i mean there's constant sounds going and i live uh right by a fast food joint which has a 24 hour food uh food access uh-oh a broken bridge ahead i guess we need to find an alternative uh to continue on our path Sorry about that, but yeah, I got a rest, uh, fast food joint by my house. Looks like we have a puzzle, ga a puzzle, mini puzzle for us. So I'm constantly listening to sound. I'm constantly hearing it. And when I went back to my parents' place, we live in the suburbs of Indiana, and it's like at night we have like a woods behind us essentially, and it's not really a woods. It's like just a, trees essentially. It's not woods. Woods is a, is a gross overstatement. It's just a whole bunch of trees. Anyways. At night, there's nothing. There is no sound. And I thought that was pretty cool, but my my brother, who also is from California now, who, uh, who flew over there for the holidays, was like, dude, I woke up in a panic last night. And I'm like, why? And he's like, dude, I was scared I had gone deaf because there was no sound. I it, would, it freaked me out. I woke up in the middle of the night in the darkness with no sound, and I was panicking <laughs> I know right there's always some type of sound ah oh, I should have switched I should have switched first what are those guys doing Shudder. I don't I don't want to tell them that sponge is used for back home it'll ruin the fun <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, let him have fun. Alright, let's see what that does. Terrible idea. The question is, how do I get up here? Hmm. How do I solve this puzzle? Alright, that's...
that was an eight inch bubble wand in our world. Now it's eight, 80 feet. We'll have to bring over for Rito next time. <laughs> I think, I think the, I think the world is messing up uh, Beepo's head as well. I don't think he's completely sane. He started to slowly lose his mind. But by the way, isn't that weird that a, that objects in our world just like become oversized in Mario's world? And also if you played Mario Odyssey, you'll find out that in New Donk City, there's humans who are normal height and Mario's actually like four feet tall. So like, I don't know, it's just a weird, it's a, this is a very weird world that they, they, that they live in. I don't know how tall they truly are. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I switch this switch. Oh, that turns this. Hmm. Think a bit. <gasps> I think I have an idea. Let's turn this around. <laughs> I love the little sounds they make. This whole game is nothing but uh, odd. odd. Ambient sounds of like the rabbits enjoying Whoa. themselves and screaming the entire time. That will rotate that. And I hit this. Yes! There you go. And that is how that rabbit, uh, para rabbit. Plant. Oh yeah, that's the uh, crazy rabbit piranha plant mix. It is not something you want to uh, you want to have to stare at at night. Haunt your dreams. Let's go this way. This way. Yeah, it was great to see the family again. What's it called? They live so far away from me, so it's good to see them once once or so a year. Hmm. Should be able to get it through here. Let's see if I got this right. Yes! There's a tiny plaque here from the artist that reads, Rabbit building log a log cabin. I wonder what that means. <laughs> oh, a cool thing I got for the holidays is this a beautiful mug that is, you can't really see it, but it's a, uh, it's a uh, hand, it's a artist drawn uh, photo of West Lafayette, Indiana, which is where I went to college at. So my parents got that for me because they're awesome. I was so terrified that it was going to break while coming here and it didn't. What do we got? Oh, there's something. Oh, Mr. Goat, you were uh you weren't you didn't go home for the holidays? I have been trying to do that for like four years now. <laughs> and something always ends up bringing me back. And I don't understand why. It's so cold. I'm always just, just in so much like pain. Why why do you live in a place that the air hurts your face? What is happening here? That guy's just scared. <laughs> hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Only if I have the ability. I still don't have that ability. 
All right, let's get into a match, everybody. How's that sound? Defeat five enemies. That's it. I don't have to beat the game. I just have to defeat five enemies. Which also means that more than likely, there is going to be an endless amount of enemies. So there's high ground one, two... High ground three. Oh no. Seems to be the end of the area. So I got three so far. Let's move her over here for a bit of dodginess. She's so close that they may not be able to shoot down at her correctly. Let's skip her turn then. No, 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 no. Whoa. Go to Mario. Bounce him right up her. Ooh, he'll be so exposed. But I can get Luigi up here too. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Mario has Overwatch now. So let's get that Overwatch on. So if anybody moves, Mario's gonna see him. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Luigi also gets an Overwatch, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, his Overwatch is... There you go. Put his Overwatch on. Then what? We'll end our set of turn. I love what they did with Mario. This is just so perfect. Ooh, he got a crit. And while he's up in the air, no defense. What a honey crit. Two more enemies left, everybody. Two. Which, by the way, regular Peach gets a Gatling gun and is a sh is a close range shotgun blast. Essentially, it's pretty awesome. When Luigi's already low on as can be on healing because that's freaking Luigi. He is a sniper like no tomorrow. Get him a little closer then. just what he does and as of right now he cannot move very far at all but he'll get a very long distance like he is the look at that sniping ability ah oh, I wish I wasn't blocked but this is the perfect time for my rolling mine that's an awesome ability by the way If it doesn't hit you, uh, it's always a homing mine, so no matter where he goes, it's going to follow that, that character. And then, to make it even better, uh, if that character runs into its radius, it'll instantly explode. Oh, and it's also used as a, uh... As a deterrent, uh, what's it called? Most of the time, the enemy will think that that's an enemy to kill first. Bam. Put him over here. Zero percent chance. But it does slowly degrade the... I'll put you right here so you're... Defending that area. I don't think you'll have an issue, but just in case. Let's put a shield on you. Let's get Luigi. Let's get 
you all the way over here, and that should get you a perfect line of sight. Bam! Ah, still not out yet. Uh, I hope Luigi doesn't die. It's very difficult at the beginning with Luigi because of how low his health is. See, I am so glad I put that shield on her. Bounce. Oh, lucky. Zero percent chance and a fifty percent chance. Let's see if I can get him. Ah. Let's put her here because they're gonna. They are gonna move up. So I'm gonna need to keep at a nice good distance. Actually. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put Mario up there as well. So let's get Mario up. Come on. Get Mario right here. Then Mario will take out that enemy, which will leave Luigi open to go up there as well. Sweet. That's the number three. I have two more enemies. And then bounce him right here. But yeah, I got some amazing things for the holidays. I have just... My parents and my family just knocked it out of the park this year. Beyond belief. Uh, I got the coolest thing in the world. And you would think that that would be a, a video game. Because, you know, for what I do. But it wasn't. It was a board game. I got the Dark Souls board game. It is intense. It has, oh, I don't even know how to describe how crazy this game is. There's so many, there's so many rules to it. Uh, it's about a 30 and overwatched. Bam, what a critical bounce off the screen with an extra 30 kick. He's down to four, uh, 14 health now. Uh, I believe that's one more. Just need to kill him and the game will be over. Which means, let's put her right here. And maybe she, yeah, she's in just, she's in target range. And that should be the end of the match. But yeah, the game itself is about 35 to 40 pages long of instructions. Uh, it plays just like a Dark Souls. You're, the, when you open up the package, the first thing you read is a black screen or a black uh, piece of paper with red words that just say, you're dead. And I'm like, I haven't even played you yet, and I'm already dead. You like board games too, Mr. Goat? That, that you, what's it called? Whenever I figure out how to play this game, I will tell you about it, and you can figure out whether or not you want to get it. It is a fairly expensive board game. It's about $80, but it's developed by Steamforge, and Steamforge is very well known for creating some amazing board games. Uh, it's a board game here, actually. One roommate got... Uh... <laughs> Did you see those... Look at how scared Toad is! <laughs> he tried, though. It did not work. Poor little Toad. And introducing the new enemy, the Smasher. Pinheads in uh, pursuit. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the year of board games for my roommates. Uh, I got the Dark Souls board game, which is ridiculously long. It takes about 120 minutes to uh, play. 90 to 120. Just reach the area. I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> That's the crazy part about this. I just have to get out of here. Uh, what's it called? My sensors reveal two interesting facts regarding the Smasher behavior. One, their temper. If struck by a weapon, they will charge at their attacker and will rate uh, like a raging bull. Two, 
They have the stamina of a walrus after an all-you-can-eat fish fry. If you're far enough away, they'll stop charging. These guys are intense because for every shot you make, they'll aggro whoever shot them and they'll instantly run at them. If you're in range, they will run at you and get a free attack every time. So they'll hit you with a free attack and then their attack starts and then they'll hit you again. And so it can be very, very bad, especially if they have a... Uh, uh, like a uh, a stagger ability or a stun ability, which uh, which sticks you to the the floor for a move. It's just awful. But anyways, I got the Dark Souls. My other roommate got uh, the uh, Fallout Three board game, which is a crazy long board game, but I can't wait to try it out. And the third uh, roommate got uh, uh, what's it called, Call of Cthulhu, uh, which is a I can't remember exactly the full name of the board game right now. I can't believe I forgot it. But anyways, it's a, it's a Cthulhu-esque board game that takes place in the 1940s, and it's very awesome. It's all about closing po demon portals and whatnot. You got a rustic wooden Monopoly. That sounds really cool. What's it called? Uh, and Monster Boss. I wonder what Monster Boss is. So let's get Mario away over here. And first we'll put Overwatch. Because that works in game as well, even during my turn. So if I attack him, which causes him to aggro me, it's still movement, which causes an extra hit. But now I'm in his range, so bam. Uh, what's it called? Yes, the Cthulhu game is also a deck building game. There's the original board game and the original expansion to the board game, and then they created a, uh, what is it? They created a, uh, card game for it. Ooh, critical with a 70, that should have took him out. And I'm just gonna move away from, wait. Ah, I overwatched him. I shouldn't have done that. Put her way over here. The dungeon diving game where you can make a boat. Oh, so you play the dungeon in this game? You are the dungeon? That is awesome. I actually uh, am listening to an audible book right now called... Uh, uh, Dungeonborn. I've already listened to the first two books of it, and it's kind of got that esque where you're you actually uh, your one of your main characters is the dungeon himself, and uh, the world that he is <laughs> existing in, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, because you wouldn't think a uh, you always wondered like why do dungeons like create uh, build and evolve the way they do? It, it's almost as if they're sentient. Well, in this book, it turns out. It 100% is sentient. And it has its own thoughts and ideas. And as it, uh, as the longer it lasts, the more energy, uh, magic it gains. And the more magic it gains, the, uh, the higher level it becomes. And as that grows, uh, it gains more abilities to control different types of monsters. At the beginning, it's only able to control, like, little bunnies, but by the end, it's able to control full-on, uh, crazy mob, uh, animals. Let's get him up here. He's too far away, he won't be able to get me. That'll take that person out. Don't have to deal with that one. And you know what's so funny is also my whole, just like my family in general is getting into board games a lot more. And so because of that, uh, like, you know, like the crazy cousins that used to call and be like, Let's go out for a drink. Let's go have a good time. Let's do go have fun. Is now like, hey, 
want to have some fun? And you're like, yeah, and they're like, board game night. <laughs> Before I aggro him, let, let's get... Let's get it. Time to play. Overwatch on him. That'll cause him to run. Ah, uh, I was hoping that he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be far enough away. And there goes Luigi. Poor Luigi. Let's get her all the way over here. <laughs> Judge Boy, you won't be surprised. I, you won't be disappointed, Mr. Gold, about that. But I will say this: uh, the the uh, the uh, narrator uh, he narrates the voice of the. The, the the one of the uh, females in the game or uh, in the book and it's he puts it too high pitch of a voice I feel like but overall it's a really good book I enjoy it I've read it I, I read it like the moment I was finished I had the other one uh, downloaded and ready to listen to I'm also listening uh, to uh, one called Alpha World which is about a uh, a man a prisoner who was uh, sadly, uh, put pretty much almost life in prison about, uh, for murder, and he, uh, uh, he gets the chance to, uh, a second chance by essentially selling his, uh, selling himself so that he can become, uh, a tester for a, a full immersion VR game called Alpha World. So in other words, he signs his, his life away so that he could, they could put him on a 24-hour, uh, uh, VR game and they're trying to check to see whether or not it's possible or he'll just go completely insane so it's, a, it's an interesting concept uh, I don't want to do anything uh, I think I'll skip for now but yeah Alpha World is uh, book 3 just released on the 26th and I'm uh, really close to finishing book 3 right now Just not far enough, but I believe she should be far enough. Yes, not the most perfect of match, but you often forget in this. It, oh, I turns exactly six turns. Woo! But with games like this, you always end up forgetting that. Uh, Yo, know, it's not about defeating as many enemies as possible. It's about making sure that you get to the end. Ah, uh, silver. <laughs> Look at that trophy. I love it. That would be World 8, or Section 8 of World 1. Let's see if I can find anything beforehand. Ha ha! Uh, I'm so terrible at controlling... Mario. Because you're not controlling Mario, you're controlling people. Hmm. Ducky! Afterworld? Ooh, sounds nice. Sounds like a good one. I, uh. What's it called? Uh, after listening to Ready Player One, I got really into the whole. VR uh, audiobooks, books about, and I don't know, just. Am I supposed to get this? Okay, gotta go all the way around. Oh, no, no, no. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I got this, I got this. Five, four, three, two, one. No, I got stuck on a wall! But yeah, I'll check out Afterworld. I'm always looking for a new Audible book, because uh, I'm about to finish this one. And I 
what's it called? I got a $50 gift card from Amazon for Amazon. Uh, and I think I have to, maybe if I go through the Amazon site and download uh, and try to purchase it through the Amazon site, I could get it. But I could use Audible with my gift card. I was very disappointed. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up just using it to $50 worth of books, people. Yes! Oh, Alter. Alter World. Okay, not after. My bad. But cool. I think... I think I know what you're talking about. I think I read uh, a summary on the first book. Where he essentially just puts his brain inside the world and just gives up on his body because of its, his terminal condition. Our very, li uh, very lives are in the hands of this enormous rabbit statue which bears the weight of the tower how unsettling it is slightly unsettling but at the same time you got to give those rabbits props they only have like a day and they created a, an amazing artwork everywhere ah But yes, I will look that one up as well. I am always, like I said, looking for the next, uh, my next Audible book. Because I, like, I just, I'll just have them on the background the entire time. I go through those books, like, within days. I can go through, like, a 30-hour book within, like, a week. Maybe even five days. But because of, uh, because of that as well, because I'm listening to them constantly, I miss a lot. I know that sounds weird, but I miss a lot of what's going on. So I end up listening to re-listening to them about two times in a row, almost each one. Just one, I just end the book, and I just hit the start over, and I listen to it again. Okay, this is a tower beat one. I gotta beat everybody, but I gotta keep climbing up as I'm doing it. Check out what the world looks like. I got one over here I need to defeat. Two here, but I'll have a higher ground if I go up here. One here, which would be balance ground. Alright, that looks like the end. It's just a very small map. Alright. Yeah, that's exactly how I am. I do it while I'm doing random tasks. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> nice, it worked. I know I'm putting him in an exposed area, but I'm doing it for a good reason. I have to do that. I have to take this guy out. that worked. I didn't think it was going to work. Put a shield on you so then nothing bad happens. Luigi's the only one left to his own devices. Put you right here. Really? A hundred percent chance to hit him? Okay. Nice. Skip the Overwatch. You can take a hit, it's all good. Uh, I was hoping that would honey ki uh, crit him. Where are you going? Ah! Oh, and he dropped me. So that was a real bad idea. I was way too exposed there. But Luigi needs to get up here. 
Get you right here, Mr. Luigi. Wow. And now, I'll take one out. Golden. Put him in a good overwatch position. Perfect, let's put him right here. Dude, jumping completely changes the way this game is played. Heal everybody. Alright, and then now... down take you out put you right here gotta use those pipes you gotta use those pipes to your advantage and with that with one health left perfect let's see what you do Come on, get a critical. Uh, he's gonna attack me. He could have swiped at me. I don't know why he didn't do that. But then again, it's the beginning AI. So we'll do that exactly like I was just saying. There. I'm gonna prop you up to right here. And attack you from the top, which will give me a critical. Ah, you. Boo. Not, not soon enough. All right, let's let's get you. Put you right here. You can take a hit in case in case he's not dead by the time this is all over. There we go. That should be all the enemies. Ooh. Perfect. How do I? I wish I knew how to do, how to do that. I'll have to come back for that box later. That feels right. Oh. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. There. In green. Okay, so that has to be there because it needs to connect that section right there. What is that rabbit doing? Poor guy. The stress of the situation has caused him to believe he's a hamster. Maybe you should get some rolled oats. Oh, I'm out of order. At least he's getting exercise. He'll be the most fit rabbit there ever was. Alright, you all ready for this? The 
bouncers are pretty hard. They'll get there quickly, but those smashers are crazy. Okay, he's honey stuck. Awesome. Because he's honey stuck, he won't be able to move when I hit him. Exposed area. This he won't be able to move. I'll overwatch for anybody else who moves. Hmm. Actually, I just put you right here. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Shield is going down. Took him out. Nice. Now to take out the real threats. Yes, he can't move. Love the music it score in this game. Let's see if he's close enough to hit her. I thought he might be. Yeah. I saw that coming. That's the reason why I put the shield up. I'm glad I did too. First, let's move Peach out the. Let's move Rabbit Peach out the way. Oh, I should have had her swipe him. Close enough. Put you way over 
here. <laughs> I love how the game is looking on the stream, too. Shouldn't to be able to take him out in one strike. But half makes sense. And that's all that they wrote. Yes. Another perfect round. Some coins while I'm at it. Almost 2,500. Nice. It's about one, to maybe two upgrades when it comes to weaponry. Maybe two upgrades. Get the money cost. Is, I think the highest was like almost like 2,500. I want that. So let's move. To Top, uh, let's turn to blue. Nice. This isn't where I wanted to go, though. But gaining some coins is not bad. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, pretty much healed up almost everybody. Mario's the only one who needs an extra bit of healing. Hmm, where does that take me? Oh, that worked out. Ooh, five power orbs. Nice. So, what are you guys' New Year's plans? You guys have any, like, you guys have any ideas what you guys are gonna do with yourselves? Are you gonna, is this the year that you work out? Is this the year that you, that you try for that better, that crazy new job? try harder at my job I really really want to get uh, my own client I'm really gonna try hard at the conferences to find someone new to bring someone into my to bring someone to the company that's what that's my main goal <laughs> my main goal is to work harder what do we do uh, most people would be like I'm just gonna work out or I'm gonna eat right or I'm gonna or I'm gonna call that person I want to call I'm like I'm gonna work harder that's what I want to do I want to work even harder Oh, sweet Jeebus. What is happening here? Let's get you... Can you hit him? Yeah, you can hit him. All right. Let's take out some... Let's take out... Let's take some damage. And as long as that chomp is down there, he's gonna attack those guys with no problem. Because that's what a chomp chomp does. Another 20. Alright. This is when we start doing the overwatches. And so... Put you on overwatch as well. Kill him. Nice. Whew. 
took him out before he could take out anybody, but it took four attacks to take him down. Alright, let's put you over here. And chain chop. And he does massive damage. about to jump up. Oh no. What was my goal in this one? What's my goal again? To defeat all the enemies? Probably. Oh, defeat four enemies. I got three more enemies to take down, but I'm gonna need to get Because I gotta get out of there. I gotta get out of there. Uh... <gasps> That'll bring him closer. Oh, are you kidding me? The one time I don't want a critical to take effect. He's, oh, thank Bob, he's closer. That'll kill him. Now I just gotta deal with the two up there. Popping right out. Ooh, now close enough. That's not who I want it. Oh no! Okay, everything's ruined. There's a good chance I'm not gonna make it to this one. That's why. Let's heal. Oh, I'm so happy to be back at work. Doing what I love. So, how's everyone else's first day back at work? Or, what's it called? Do you guys work at the evening shift? 
That should attack. There goes Luigi, every time. Those guys, no, 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 I gotta get away from those guys. But I have two enemies that need... That means that we three. Oh, that was four. Oh. Oh, we all got healed too. That's a good thing. Oh, I can't wait to try that Black, uh, Dark Souls board game out. I'm super excited about it. Oh, another silver trophy. Sadness. But I'm super excited about it. It's a one to four player game. Which means my first time playing it, I'm going to more than likely play it by myself. Because I'm sad. But also because I don't want to... Because I know it's going to take long. You know, the first time is just you pretty much trying to figure out how to play the game. That's how I'm going to be. And so it's going to be nice to be able to um, not have that with friends. You know what I mean? To be able like, to try to figure it out on your own. And then the second time I play it around, I'll play it around with like three or four people because it's up to four players. And then I'll be Game Master. You know what I mean? I'll be uh, GM and be able to really understand what's going on. By the way, first boss battle, people. This isn't a, a, a mini boss. This is a full on straight up boss battle and they're actually really fun and interesting bowser jr hey stay away from him see i see what's going on here you want that little fella's uh I can't, I can't read what his name is. My face is in the way of it, sadly. Uh, all for yourself. Well, I saw him first, and he and I shall... You, something, our, uh, combined our talents. In other words, he's gonna use him. Because he's evil, because he's Bowser Jr. I think I'll call you... Spawny. <laughs> Spawny. You want to help me teach these wimps a lesson, Spawny? Ha! My papa's gonna be so impressed when he gets back from vacation. Ugh, you picked the wrong group, kid. You, and you, Mario, you must be exhausted after all those battles. Take this and give some much-needed energy. Before you go, Spawny, uh, before you, I go, Spawny and I would like to introduce you to a friend of ours. He's the top banana around here. <laughs> Rabbit Kong goes bananas. So I wonder who uh, got uh, got merged in with a uh, <laughs> with the one of the rabbits. DK anybody? I wonder if that uh, if that uh, that tie is a nod to the character. So yes, the first boss is Donkey Kong. I mean, it makes an. E Did you hear that sound effect, guys? That was a beautiful sound effect. That was an original Donkey Kong Country sound effect. But also, uh, Insto, come on. Anyways, uh, what a perfect boss for a tower uh, where you have to climb a tower game, right? can't remember how to defeat this boss. I was taking a second to try to remember how I'm supposed to beat him. Alright, that's good. Put 
you on Overwatch. I believe I have to get... Actually, I think I really have to get far in this area. Let's see if it works again. Nope. He does not have the same luck his brother does. This is good. All right, let's see what the boss does. With the honey crid, double crids. Ooh. Actually, you can go up to this corner and up to that corner. All right, so what does she do? Let's get up to that corner. Okay, insto health. All right, yeah, I thought so. So. Your bananas are gone. <laughs> Point blank. All right, so I should have waited to fire at him. Put you right here because the metal will not break. you a little further back. There we go. So one down, because of course, it wouldn't be a Mario battle unless it was three attacks. I think it's time to heal just yet. And I can't use Luigi. Wait, how far can she go? She can go to where Mario is, so let's get her all the way over here. Attacking would be useless, but let's get him all the way over here. But yeah, what do you guys think of the first boss battle of the game? It's wrecking things. He is a very difficult character to play against. But I need her to heal everybody. Should be able to go all the way back and be able to fire still. Let's get a little bit of damage on that guy. Yep. Let's get an overwatch. 
dodge. So he takes out that guy. All right, two down. Two health bars down. One health bar to go. I really like the boss battles in this game. Ugh, it's way too exposed. A good crit bounce, but that's it's not gonna kill him. Or is it? Uh, he's got 10 health. Of course that guy would be around. want to stay as far away from that guy as possible, so let's... I might be able to draw him into range. He's in range now. Nice! That worked out so well! Wham! He's done. Get all those coins. If I missed a chance to, I need to get Luigi all the way here. The shockwave shouldn't affect him too badly. Put a shield on her so the shockwave doesn't affect her. Hit him with the shockwave. Everyone's got to move up. Everyone's got to move up as much as they can. We need as many people in range for... I'm guessing he's going to be able to make it. Ah, uh, really? Boo. I'll keep him guarded from the shockwave. Maybe that'll keep him... Alright. Even if he shoots him, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Luigi's gonna die. Huh. Good to know. I was hoping because there was a metal shield in front of her, it wouldn't... See what I mean? Like, it wouldn't, but now I see it, it would. Alright, it's up to you, Luigi. No more healing. Overwatch could do anything. Forty one. Let's see what 
weapons. Yeah, <laughs> look, Luigi's high. And that's how Luigi was taken down. No. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Luigi then. <laughs> Luigi for the kill! And that's how you take a boss down in Mario Rabbids. Like all <laughs> and like all good King Kongs, they must fall from their tower. <laughs> Luigi's the only one who feels sad about this. The tip of the whip that tames the beast is the very face of Africa itself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear that we must rescue Spawny from the clutches of Bowser Jr. Before we can destroy, or before he destroys what's left of the Mushroom Kingdom forever. I say we adjourn to Princess Peach's castle for a series of uh, breakout sessions. During which we shall, we shall workshop solutions uh, in a safe, open environment. In other words, let's get moving! Oh. I defeated it 8 turns out of 12 with everyone alive. I'm really surprised that, that worked out. I got a gold trophy for the final boss uh, battle. I am so happy with myself. That is perfect. You can now use a signature rabbit transport to go back in time and replay chapters that you've already completed. Improve your performance and, uh, and win lots of golden trophies. Team, rank up. Your hero's health has increased. New weapons in stock. There are new weapons available at the Battle HQ. An uh, ancient Gardens Challenge. Explore ancient gardens uh, from this uh, from scratch and find ten rabbit challenges. Complete the challenges to gain more orbs. That is a cool cool idea. Move with contextual action. You can now set aside heavy objects that are blocking your path. Blush with victory! Congratulations, you've unlocked the new co-op challenge campaign. Co-op is actually really cool in this game. So the way the co-op works in this game is that uh, both uh, player one and player two play. Four characters total each person gets a hold of two of the characters of the forward party and uh, what's it called you battle against random enemies it's really cool actually I really liked it did you see that we can move certain blocks now it has a lot stronger than I look with this ability I may be able to reach an entire new area of the mushroom kingdom Oh, I never got that box. Or backtrack to ancient gardens and reach previously inaccessible areas. The rabbits tweak the cannon so they can choose where you launch to. According to my sensors, Bowser Jr. was last seen towards the Sherbert Desert. Let's follow him and retrieve Spawny. What did you guys do now? The rabbits have shown complete lack of decorum when decorating choice of, uh, when, for decorating choices. Please hurry, Mario. In some ways, Bowser Jr. has even worse than his father. We'll get that, Junior Bowser. But first, to the Battle HQ! Rabbit Laboratory. I kind of like this team up, this team group up so far, this dynamic. New weapons. 
Do I want a bounce ability or do I want to stick? I think I kind of want a bounce ability this time. Make sure to equip the weapon, too. Give her the push ability, too. Equip it. Oh! Hmm. None of you guys have seen the ink ability, so let's do a, a bit of ink ability. All right, we're down to 14. I think a nice wooden bounce ability would work out very well. Down to 700. Skill tree. And an attack of an enemy's head following a team jump. Oh, so I can slide and then bounce and then team jump on somebody. Alright, let's unlock that first. And then we'll get Mario's damage. So now Mario has access to his second weapon. So shall she. She's also a uh, a rolling mine. I think I have enough points. 20. Let's unlock that so she'll hit more than one enemy. much more effective when he's up in the air. Now I can bounce him twice and get him really far. All right, everyone's got new weapons and new abilities. I like that. Do do. So how is everybody's day going so far? I'm having an amazing day. Got new battle music. Wow. All right, let's start the next world. something happening. What are they doing? They're going for the all-time record. 1,073,204 headers in a row. So far, they've had seven. I don't think they're going to make it. But they're going to try because they're insane. Put it over here, though. Oh, that's blocking. That's what that is. Alright. 
There we go. I don't have that ability yet. Aww. Wait. I got caught again. Ah, I keep getting caught on that thing. Wow. Seven or six? Seven? Yes. I think that's new weapon. New weapon. I just spent all my money on weapons. New weapon. Oh, no. But it's like 1,400. Oh yeah, I bought I unlocked their their stuff. I should check that out. That's a good one. But no, I can't cuz Need to get their secondary. Give us some honey damage. Yeah. But Mario's is actually kind of cool too. Let me show you Mario's secondary. He's actually got a hammer. It does some massive damage. Look at that. 100 and... Up to 105 in damage with 137 crit. Really nice. That hog gun is really nice, though. Oh, so we're down to our 30 minute mark. I apologize because that means I'm leaving. It's going to make me sad. You're going to see me cry. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we're down to our last 30 minute mark. So I'm going to see what I can get when it comes to World 2. Uh, but I don't know how far, much further I'll be able to get into the game. But don't worry. I'm going back tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait. Wonderful. The once thriving desert is now a frozen wasteland. Your arrival in this world would seem to your arrival in this world would seem to be as welcome as a skunk in a bowling alley. Yeah. Hey, it's Toadette! Hello again. Have you seen Toad? He got separated again. Sigh, he thinks it's fun. Just throw out just throw out the map and let your heart guide you as his motto. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Could you please find it for me? I'm starting to get a bit worried. Yeah. I'll stay here in case he comes back. Uh, Toadette. What are we going to do with you? What's going on here? They seem to be enjoying themselves. They got a nice wall here. Ah, here we go. Nice box. Ooh, orbs. Alright, can't get past here yet. Alright, 
right, looks like this is the only way to go. World 2. De dash 1. Defeat all enemies. He could come around and attack me from here, so I'm probably gonna wanna get myself right here. Nah, it's blocked. But a good Overwatch won't help, will help out. Let's see what Luigi can do. He's got the times two balance now. Shot. He's down to four health. Let's get him on Overwatch as well. Nice. Ink blinds the character and allows, makes it so for one turn they're not allowed to attack. See that benefiting him. Let's see that. Go for it. Keep him over here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, he just flanked me. I forgot those bouncers. Oh, they can get far. And flanked twice. Oh no, that's awful. Get a push. Yes, critical push. That means three are down now. Oh, this just level just became so much easier. That guy 
guy's gonna move. He's gonna be in range. No, just barely out of range. Let's see the two bombs. Do. Get on in there. <laughs> I love it. I love the looks of it. Oh, I can have that. That works. There's so many mines coming from him. He can't win. There you go. He was going to lose no matter what. He was stuck in all surrounded by mines. It was great. I've never done that before. That was perfect. They really are having way too much fun. Alright, here we go again, everybody. Got one here. High grounds. High grounds, low ground. High ground. Alright, I gotta get this guy. I gotta get this guy first. Then I'll shield myself over here. He's coming. I gotta get Luigi up there too. Get him right there. Nice. Wow. And that's how you take out an enemy in the one shot. No. Oh! Oh. Luigi, why do you suck? See what these enemies are doing. Speed that up. Ooh, what a crit! All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, he's overwatching me. Shield should protect me for at least one more bout. Get you over here. Zero and a fifty. It's not gonna hit him though. Not with that metal. Dang, his range is so far. Oh, nice. Let's end it. I don't want to power up anybody because it only lasts for one turn. It makes more sense to power them up before they attack. That's fine. Put him on a nicely shielded area. Oh yeah, Mario, this is this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm liking my chances right now. Get her over here. Final 
shot. That's what you do, you flank a fool. Nice. Oh, the jobs are just piling in, people. <laughs> I'm playing this stream and they're just piling in. Gotta get them selfies. Are you guys selfie obsessed? Who here is selfie obsessed? I am not. I do not like it. Two steps forward and one step back. To find Spawny, you must defeat the rabbits uh, who plague uh, you at every step. However, each victory frees them from their uh, mega bug upon high. Pay close attention to when you defeat an enemy. You'll see that the me uh, mega bug regains some of its strength, its loss, and its merge with the foe. Hint: the ghost light apparitions that rise for, uh, to the sky after you clobber someone senseless are the clue. Yes, I see. Defeating the rabbits frees them from the mega bug influence, which makes them, uh, which makes the mega bug stronger. Oh, that's very clever. I oh, oh dear, that's not good, is it? Only hope is to find Spawny and to stop him from creating even more ab aberration aberrations that will only add substance <laughs> to the storm above. <laughs> stop clapping like me, <laughs> as you'd say. Let's -a go to find the toad, then Spawny. I can't pick up the statues just yet, but I'm going to really quickly upgrade me some uh, some Luigi. So now his damage goes from 75 75. Oh, it was already oh said 75, but now he does uh he does better against uh the Ziggies. Meh. I take it and leave it. Yeah, take it take it where you can. 30. Let's increase the attack. Now he takes 40. Thirty is a good one. Needs thirty to do that. Luigi always is so weak. Ninja run! I got two of the characters to do a ninja run. Get stronger. Upgrade your weapons to keep uh, often to keep up. Failed uh, the red coin challenge. You can restart it immediately anytime. Luigi itchy feet technique allows you allows him to go a lot further, and it does. And I would love to get it, but not yet. I need his dash to start doing some damage. The dash attacks really come in handy, but you need to upgrade them so that they can become stronger. Hmm. Alright, 
This area seems... Oh. This seems like the area I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna jump back after I solve this puzzle. They're going to be annoyed when they find out that, that there's a desert right over there. <laughs> yeah. So let's turn this back up. Yeah, that worked. Five more power orbs. Just five more and Luigi can uh, start increasing his dash ability. just missed it by one. It's two more. There we go. New weapon. You always want the gold chest because they almost always give you a weapon. <laughs> New weapon from Mario, nice. Alright, I believe. Yeah, this is the pinball rolling one. Alright. I <laughs> like how it's just like a giant rabbit. All right. <laughs> Alcomar is like, let's go. Let's roll. But before we roll on that, let's roll this way. Obviously, needs to be pushed. Sherbert Hopper, a new 3D model, has been added to the museum. Wait. <laughs> what in the world? It's got, it's got groove. It's got meeting. <laughs> Look at they're dancing. They froze dancing, but at least they froze doing what they love. Oh, yeah, check out those guys. All right, let's go into the new area. There's just so much happening in this world. It's all around you. You can get lost playing it. Oh, nice. Challenge! Go! 
Come on. Did it. Oh, with so much time to spare. Bam. New weapon. Who's it for? Who's it for? Who's it for? Ah, uh, it's for Rabbit Luigi. Way then. There we go. Got ourselves some new artwork. Tisk tisk. Underwear everywhere. This is one majestic landscape, and now it looks like a frat house thanks to those rabbits. What's wrong with looking like a frat house? Apparently, this town ain't big enough for the two of them. Wait. <laughs> Quick draw. World 2-2! Poor fellow. Once he soared freely overhead, spreading fear throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Just look at him now, tangled in gaudy, gaudy rabbit underwear. What a cruel fate. <laughs> he must, we must restore the Mushroom Kingdom to its original state. Uh, Bonanza, uh, Banzai Bill's freedom and dignity depends on it. Look at that guy, he's just so sad. He's, mm, mm. Oh. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I got another, uh, I got, uh, I'm gonna finish this match up and then I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I need to reach that area before the battle ends. But I will be also back tomorrow uh, at 11 once again for another two hour run through. Let's start the battle. He's gonna do some real damage now. Look, he can take up half his life now. One down. No, because he's got. There's. Did you see? Uh, if you check, he's over here. So I need to get all the way over. Dang, that's far. All right, so he can bounce twice. So let's let's get her going. Over here. Now Luigi. supposed to go again. Takes you nowhere. I need to get over here. This is good. Because this will put him... Right in the line of fire. If he moves, he will be attacked. Get you going too. Time to play. Can we do an Overwatch, and then we'll call it a day. Just far enough. He can't do anything. Nice. Boom. 
with a crit. That's how you take them out in one go, people. That's how you do that. Oh no, I thought you were a big guy. Crap. I just don't want you to be able to get close to me. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Get that shield off you. Overwatch. That's how you do that, people. You gotta get... Uh, when it comes to reach an area, Luigi can rock it. Alright, let's end this turn. Another bouncer, that's fine. Can't hit me. Still block. Block him. Out of range? I thought so. Come on, come on, come on. Get the watch going. go and a bounce with the out of bounds he's gone no worries on that mm, he could take a hit or two it's fine but he's on overwatch now darn but if he was able to shoot mario then he might be able to do overwatch on mario i might just sacrifice mario yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so let's sacrifice Mario first. Wait, let's see how far he can get. He can get all the way up to here. Alright, that's good. Yeah, if I can get her to bounce. 
that's exactly what I wanted. Yes! Game over, people. Oh, with a 100% shot, a shot hit. And a push. It's another person gone. And perfect bounce. I told you, Luigi's always the one that you want to get there, because he's going to be the one who goes the furthest every time. That ends that. What a perfect way to end that. What a perfect way to end our stream is with a gold trophy. I love it. Love it. And I could buy the new gun for Mario, too. All right. Progress has been saved. All right, everybody. Going back to the main menu. And that is another set of Rab uh, Mario Rabbit's Battle Kingdom down. We got into World 2, not very far, but we, we made a little bit of progress into World 2. Uh, we ended with a little trophy, which I think is a, a great way to end this, uh, this stream. Uh, and if you like what you saw, please, please, please hit that follow button at the top. I will be back tomorrow at 11 uh, specific Pacific time. I always want to say specific, but it's 11 Pacific time. Uh, Pacific Coast time, and I will be playing another round of Mario and Rabbits. I love this game. I think it's an amazing game. It was one of those sleeper hits. Nobody knew what was... Everyone saw the, the, the graphics for it and the posters and were like, what is this? What have you done, Nintendo? You've ruined everything. And then it just... It, Ubisoft was just like, boom, knocked it out the park. One of the best games of the year. I think it deserved a little bit more recognition than what it got. Uh, but at the same time, it did receive a fair amount of re uh, of uh, recognition for it. But I mean, look at this. It was such a good game to come out for before Odyssey. Gives you an idea of how detailed Mario can get. Uh, just the Switch itself. The graphics that they can do on Switch running on the Unreal Engine is amazing. I'm so happy that they've, uh, uh, they're they allowing the Unreal Engine on here. And they're allowing... Well, not saying that Ubisoft is running the Unreal, but just like... The engines that they're allowed to run on, you're able to get these great detail on these small little cartridges. But anyways, I am Marcos. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the follow button and also hit the follow button on Facebook and Twitter at Novi Unlimited. If you want to get up-to-date information about when I stream or my co-worker Vanessa, who is out for the week. I am filling in for her today, but she will be back next Tuesday. But for me, I will be back tomorrow at 11, and I hope to see you all there. All right, laters.